What's up, Eagles fans, and welcome into the All-22 Review. I'm Fran Duffy, and today we're going to take a look back at the Eagles' Week 1 victory over the Detroit Lions. It was obviously a close one down to the end, but we have to start this conversation with A.J. Brown, the new man here in Philadelphia, sets a record 155 yards receiving the most ever by an Eagle in their debut. What did A.J. Brown do to have so much success? Let's take a look back at the film and see what I saw from Sunday's win. There's not much left you could say about A.J. Brown and his performance on Sunday, week one against the Lions. And it happened at all three levels of the field. You see here early in the game, this is a screen pass, a nice double screen, well-designed play here by the Eagles. You fake the bubble, then hit A.J. Brown on the slip screen, coming back towards the middle of the field. That's a 10-yard pickup in the quick game. Screen game, create yards after catch for A.J. Brown. Then you have your basic quick game. You see him here facing press coverage. Look at the job he does getting that press corner off his spot, gets him to flip his hips back to the sideline before he breaks back inside, wins on the slant route, gets another first down. Nice job moving the chains there in the quick game from A.J. Brown. Now let's get to the intermediate area. You're going to see a bang eight. This is a quick post route here from A.J. Brown. Five-step route, breaks to the inside. He does a great job. We saw him run these kinds of routes time and time again in Tennessee. Here, off play action, you're going to see Jalen Hurts rolling to his right. This is that crossing route again. Intermediate area of the field. He's going to be a little bit later in their progression here, but look at the job Jalen does of getting the ball to A.J. Brown while taking a hit out in space. A.J. able to once again move the chains for a first down. Then you get the vertical passing game. Two big coaching points here from A.J. Brown. Number one, he does an outstanding job of fighting through contact and stacking the defensive back throughout the course of this route. Look at him fight through contact, jostling for position, stacks him, gets him on the back shoulder, and then the late hands. Flashes those hands late so that the DB can't be clued as to when the ball arrives. A.J. Brown, 54 yards there on that play. Record-setting day from number 11. So great stuff there, obviously, from A.J. Brown. Now, let's transition to another factor of the Eagles' offense that was a big part of the win and their ability to move the ball against Detroit, and that's Jalen Hurts with his legs. Jalen, when he dropped back as a scrambler, was able to carve up the Detroit secondary, did a really nice job of creating when the pressure was able to break down the Eagles' protection, and if the Lions were in man-to-man -man coverage, Jalen took the grass that was given to him and created some big plays on the ground. Let's take a look at a couple of big examples from Sunday's win. All right, now let's take a look at Jalen Hurts. Three big scrambles here where he drops back to pass. First one on second and two. This is early on in this game. There's a busted protection up front for the Eagles. You got a free runner there, Aiden Hutchinson, the number two pick. He comes in clean. Jalen Hurts does a nice job of making him miss and taking that grass. He sees that open real estate, cuts up field, and is able to move the chains on first down. A little bit later on in the game, this one third and very long. It's third and 15. Once again, you see the Lions in man coverage. This is one robber. You have that safety dropping in the hole. Not necessarily a spy, but he's playing from depth with eyes on the quarterback. Jalen Hurts is able to take that grass and he runs away from the robber for a first down. Later in the game, once again, third and medium here, third and six. This is straight cover one. It's a five-man pressure, man coverage across the board. Jalen Hurts once again making the defense pay for playing man coverage on third down. That was a staple of this Eagles offense, especially in the first two and a half quarters. So the guy that lined up in the backfield with Jalen Hurts most often on Sunday was Eagles running back Miles Sanders, who also enjoyed a really productive day himself. Just under 100 yards rushing, did a nice job, reached the end zone for the first time in over a year. Also created some big plays for himself as a runner. Let's get into three great examples of some of the best runs we've seen from Miles Sanders in recent memory. Let's take a look at three great runs here from Miles Sanders. Here in the backfield, you see Jalen Hurts under center. This is going to be one of the staple run plays for the Eagles over the last few years the wham bam play a wham with a trap the problem is is that Detroit kind of mucks this play up you got the slanting defensive tackle that gives the tight end Jack Stoll no one to block you have a missed block on the play side linebacker as well Miles Sanders is one-on-one -on -one. he's got to make that guy miss he does a great job making something out of nothing here that's nine yards for Miles there on the wham bam play that could have been for no gain or even for a loss great job there from Miles then you get uh, just a nice outside play where you're just going to get Miles Sanders following these blocks. We slow this down, but what he does really well here is he's slow to the hole, then fast through the hole. You get that linebacker, uh, Malcolm Rodriguez, to press the line of scrimmage because of how patient he was pressing the line, and then he flies through that hole. X play there in the run game. Nice job from Miles Sanders. And then this one, this is the one to, to ice this game. Four-minute drill. It's third and two. You need these yards. He wants to cut back up uh, against the grain here. You've got all that blue, all those blue jerseys there on the cutback lane. So Miles stays alive. He stays square in the line of scrimmage. Waits for daylight, and he ends up busting this one for 24 yards. Miles Sanders, just under 100 yards rushing, reaches the end zone. Nice game overall for number 26. 
One of my favorite stats from Sunday's game goes back to the rushing attack. Four different Eagles reached the end zone on the ground. Jalen Hurts, Miles Sanders, Boston Scott, Kenny Gainwell. Three of those players, Sanders, Gainwell, and Hurts, average over four yards a carry. Two of those guys... Hertz and Miles Sanders had over 90 yards rushing. So I think when you talk about the versatility of this Eagles run game, it is going to be a thorn in the side of opposing defenses on a weekly basis here this fall. Cannot wait to see this rushing attack continue to evolve here in Philadelphia. Now, one big facet of that rushing attack, obviously the offensive line, but another underrated part, the tight ends. Did an outstanding job once again at the point of attack in this game, and it started on the very first play. One facet of the Eagles in the run game that I've always really liked is how active the tight ends are in the blocking scheme. And here, very first play of the game, Jalen Hurts is going to keep this on a replay. Look at Jack Stoll in the arc block here, coming from the opposite side of the formation and erasing the force player from the play. Not only is it he, does he get him to the ground, but he also gets up and tries to get more here with the safety. Nice job there from Jack Stoll. And then you get Dallas Goddard. And there's a reason why I called him the most versatile tight end in football, because we know what Dallas Goddard can do as a pass catcher at all three levels, but watch him here one-on-one -on -one against the DN on the backside, washes him down, creates some softness there. Miles Sanders untouched up to the second level. Dallas Goddard, Jack Stoll, great job in the run game all day long. All right, let's flip the script now over to the defensive side of the football where Detroit was able to find ways to be able to move the ball, especially in the second half, and a big part of that was the run game. You saw Detroit find ways to be able to create big chunks, and especially on second and long, third and long, which you would say normally – not necessarily run down. So they were able to catch the Eagles a handful of times in those kinds of situations. The tackling needs to get short up for sure. Some of those same week one things you're seeing all around the NFL. But on early downs, I thought we saw some really good reps from the Eagles against the run. Here's a few examples of what I saw on tape. All right, let's take a look at the Eagles' run defense here on early downs. You can see this is uh, your five-man front. You have a 5-2 front here from the Eagles. And this is just overall really good team run defense. You've got Derek Barnett sets a nice edge here. That does a nice job of forcing the running back to slow his feet down. You've got the, the linebackers at the second level both scraping. Everybody square to the line of scrimmage. Everybody maintaining their gap. And then you look to the backside. You've got Brandon Graham. You've got Jordan Davis collapsing from the backside. That's just good overall team run defense a little bit later. Different kind of front here, right? You don't have the two linebackers stack. You still have that odd look. Look at everybody up front at the line of scrimmage. Milton Williams, Fletcher Cox, outstanding technique. Stack and shed there from the veteran Cox. He's able to get up to the ball carrier and gets him down at the line of scrimmage. One more. This one's one of my favorites. Look at Hassan Reddick here on the outside. This is a base nickel front here from the Eagles. Look at the stack and shed against Penny Sewell, who's an outstanding run blocker. Former top 10 pick in his second year. Reddick does a great job of disengaging from the block, making a play on the ball carrier right at the line of scrimmage. On early downs, the Eagles did a good job against the run. A lot of talk about this Eagles back seven, and in a lot of ways, it's a new look Eagles back seven. Two of the names that I want to focus in on here, Kaiser White will start off and obviously created a big play with the pick six. James Bradbury, he sets that up, Kaiser White, with his deflection against the tight end, TJ Hawkinson. We're going to take a look at that play, but several, several other reps here where Kaiser White, the new Eagles linebacker, made some plays from sideline to sideline. Kaiser White did an outstanding job at his debut here as an Eagle. Pennsylvania native, comes back home, does a nice job. You can see him here, obviously, creating the pick six. Great eyes in coverage, reads the quarterback, pokes the ball up in the air. James Bradbury gets to score his first touchdown since high school. And I love the effort here from Kaiser. Once he makes the play, he realizes it's a pick. Let me get up and help my guy get into the end zone. Love the effort there from Kaiser White. But it didn't start there because very first play of the game, look at the range here. As you're going to see Kaiser White mirror the running back in the flat, does a nice job of getting outside the numbers here and making this play on an island, get the ball carrier down in the flat. Great, there, great job there from Kaiser White. Here, you're going to see once again, running back's going to try and cut back. Nice job staying square. Good angle to the football. Good fit here with the run and a nice stick from Kaiser White in the hole. Watch him defeat a block now. Athleticism. Stay alive here against the cut block. Track this play outside the numbers and get him down inside the 10-yard line. Really good from Kaiser White there. Again, run game, pass game. You're seeing Kaiser White show up in a number of different ways. Here he reads the run. Watch how quickly he hunts up this crosser off play action, removes that from the progression there from Jared Goff, forces a check down. That's incomplete. Kaiser White really did a lot for this Eagles defense on Sunday. Kaiser White had a really strong day. How about TJ Edwards? Whether it was run game, pass game, number 57 made his presence felt against the Detroit Lions. Let's go to some of my favorite plays from TJ Edwards. 
Got to see more of the same here from TJ Edwards in this game. You see number 57 locked up in a stacked position here, and he's just going to attack this block. Watch, he's got full block attention. He's got eyes on the tight end, defeats that block, stays square, fits up the running back, and drives him backward. Outstanding stick there. Great finish from TJ Edwards here on that play against the run. And what do you see him? In coverage. Look at the eyes and look at the anticipation from TJ Edwards here in coverage. He reads this from the backside. Jared Goff never even sees him. Does a great job of getting into the passing lane. Gets a mitt on the football. Nearly creates a turnover. TJ Edwards does a great job both run and pass game in this game. Taking it back to the third level of the defense, another guy I want to hyper-focus in on here is Marcus Epps, the safety there in the back of the Eagles secondary, number 22. Run game, pass game, Marcus Epps showed up in this football game, and I think he has really kind of turned into one of the top players in this Eagles secondary. Did an outstanding job on Sunday against the Lions. Here are some of my favorite plays from number 22. Lastly, let's take a look at Marcus Epps, who did an outstanding job in this game. I thought he had a really good one overall. Second quarter, watch him trigger downhill here. This is going to be a nickel blitz. Marcus Epps responsible for the slot receiver. This is going to be a slot screen. So he's got to make this play on an island. He's got to beat the tackle to the spot. Did a great job of beating the block from Penny Sewell on this play. But this one, this was my favorite. Third down, look at the read here from Marcus Epps. He does an outstanding job of recognize the receiver split, feels like it's going to be an over route, and he jumps this, undercuts it, diving PBU. He and C.J. Gardner-Johnson both got hands on the football on that play. That was a great read from Marcus Epps, but it wasn't just pass game because watch him here lined up in the box on the goal line. He and T.J. Edwards locked at the hip here. He triggers downhill, gets in with Jordan Davis on the tackle inside the 10-yard line. Outstanding game here from Marcus Epps against the Lions. So if you want more analysis just like this, make sure you go subscribe to the Eagle Eye in the Sky podcast. Myself and Greg Cosell will be breaking down all of these plays that you saw here today. Make sure you go check that out wherever podcasts can be found. And you can also read some more of my analysis with the post-snap read. It's up on PhiladelphiaEagles.com or wherever you get your Eagles content. For that, though, make sure you stay tuned next time right here on the All-22 Review.